101 for celebs. We've got the guy who helps them survive just moments away. Now, our next guest has a hobby you probably have never heard about because we hadn't either. <laughs> so when a celebrity gets arrested, they need help making the transition from the penthouse to the big house. So, Q. The prison consultant. Yes. Did you know they existed? Well, John Fuller, who goes by the nickname Doc, has been coaching new inmates since 2004. He takes them through everything from day-to-day -day routines to avoiding prison fights. We're pleased to say Doc joins us now, live from New York. Good morning to you. Very unusual career that you've carved out. As we rapidly approach the release of our original series, Cities in Crisis, Youth Violence, we will be discussing various social ills that plague the globe. We do this because we care about humanity and we want to do our part in making this world a better place to live. Here to help me with that is our official consultant, famed prison coach, John Fuller. How you doing, brother? All right, well, listen, uh, I don't know if Kevin Hart is the one you call if you were going to prison. You think? Well, if you want to have funny. some laughs before you head to prison, <laughs> he's the guy. But here's the thing. Prison coaches are a real thing. So our Nichelle Turner talked to one of the best, the man who was called upon when Martha Stewart was headed behind bars. Some of them, you know, it's a mindset that they acquire over a period of time um, that they're untouchable. And, and thus comes with celebrity status. It comes with money. It comes with power. And so... Eventually, there's a price to pay if you can't harness that. John Doc Fuller was a one-time hustler who did two stints, one for forgery and 10 years for conspiracy to distribute cocaine. In the concrete, so there's a certain smell, uh, an aura of death when you're in a penitentiary as opposed to a camp or a low security prison. I've done my time. You know, I've done it as well and as respectfully as I think anybody can. O.J. Simpson is on the opposite end of the spectrum with his release date on the horizon. Fuller has some advice for him, too. My suggestion for O.J. lay low. Stay out of the media. You don't want to start drawing attention to yourself. During the course of his parole hearing, he said he has no need to get involved with the media. He doesn't want the camp. Well, time will tell. So Lindsay Lohan is going to jail later this morning. Yeah, just a few hours, supposedly. And she's going to the same jail where other celebrities have been incarcerated recently. Let's put them up on the screen if we could. I think Paris Hilton has been to this jail. Yeah. There's uh, Nicole Richie. She did about 90 minutes, you yeah. said earlier, Rosanna. Khloe Kardashian. She got into trouble. What is in store for Lindsay Lohan today at the jail, the particular jail she's going to? She'll be away from almost every inmate in there. Protective custody. She'll be in PC for the most part. Jail she'll, within a jail. A jail within a jail. Her access should be on lockdown 22, 23 hours a day. The one hour that she is allowed out will be the time for her to take a shower, uh, make phone calls. She'll receive visits twice Is that considered better than the, than the general population or is it is it elite? Is it a step back? Do they want to be with the others? How does... It depends. She may not want to be with others out of fear for her life. So solitude can be good if she can look deep down in, inside of herself and figure out, can I be alone by myself for 22 hours out of a day? Well, I challenge everyone in this audience tonight that if you begin to invest in yourself little by little, day by day, and not allow the influences of the past, whether it be prison, whether it be rape, whether it be a family history of incest, whether it be because of losing a job or dropping out of college.